Firstly, thank you very much for coming. Um, I think it's safe to say that the majority of the people in this room would be honored to be on that convoy with you. But seeing how realistically not everyone can be, what would you recommend or what would you like to see the American people do to fight further for the cause? Well, I think the convoy is the first thing. We should all concentrate on that. It's only seven weeks away. If you can't come, then help those who are fundraising to send others. There are many ways that you can do it. I have some of them uh, in front of me now. There's a, there's a walk-a-thon uh, taking place uh, on Sunday, uh, the 14th of June. Uh, there's, um, I had another uh, leaflet produced by Viva Palestina US, but I seem to have misplaced it, which is at the back of the room, pardon me, and at the side of the room. Please take it. It's a small colored leaflet, Viva Palestina USA, which uh, tells you how you can raise the funds, how you can uh, help this uh, great cause. And then, when the convoy gets back, and I believe it will make a big impact, we should begin the task of seeking to unify in action the huge number of Palestine Solidarity and other sympathetic organizations that exist in the United States. The Friends of Israel don't make the mistake that the Friends of Palestine do. They don't have thousands of addresses, they have only one address, and it's quite a powerful one. And the Palestinian people and their friends have to make quite a powerful address for them too. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Galloway. I'm, as a student here on campus and a member of the Muslim Student Union, I wanted to ask you for some advice. Administration has had a double standard of enforcing regulation. Administration has had a double standard of enforcing regulations on us that it does not enforce on pro-Zionist clubs on campus in an effort to stop our effective display of the conflict from reaching the rest of campus. This double standard was enforced because of pressure from non-student pro-Zionist organizations in the community. What do you think we should do in order to deal with this infringement of our First Amendment freedom of speech right? Thank you. Please uh, thank you. You will have to forgive me. I really can't stray into that uh, territory. It's not my business uh, how this university runs its affairs. It's your business. Um, of course, I heard what you say and I heard the President's remarks uh, at the beginning, but uh, I'm grateful to the university authorities for allowing me to speak here tonight, and I wouldn't want to stray into territory of which I know nothing. Forgive me, please. Hi, Mr. Galloway. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I, as a fellow just like you, I'm not an Arab, nor am I Israeli. I just had a quick thing I wanted to plead with those in the audience who haven't yet made up their minds on this issue to go online and look at the facts, which are out there for everybody to see. And these facts show that Palestinian people are under a brutal occupation, not at the hands of Jews, but at the hands of the Zionist Israeli regime. Look it up, go online, go to the library, read a book. The truth is out there, go find it. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. what you do. Um, you said something that was very key and we have to stop the Zionists from doing and committing the atrocities against the Palestinian people. In order to do this we have to get our priorities straight and we have to stand up for justice and align ourselves with what God wants from us. So I believe that everybody here and in the world community cares but the question is do they care enough and I think the only thing that speaks to whether they care enough is the actions, the actions of the people. I mean, look at what you're doing. So um, as a community, whether it's the OC community or the world community, I think we need to stop worrying about what type of handbags we're wearing, whether we've got the latest sunglasses, what type of sports cars we're driving, and get our, get our priorities together and stop trying to impress people and do what we need to do to stand up for justice so we can fight for these people. And 
One more thing. Um, the, the, one of the sisters had asked, um, what else can we do? Get involved in politics. Call your congressman. There are congressmen out there who have been to Gaza, who have seen what has happened. Keith Ellison is one of them, the congressman from Minnesota. Get involved. Write letters. Visit your, visit your, uh, your local uh, and, and, and the people who represent you and, uh, and, and do something about it. That's